Good afternoon. It is roughly 3.15 on the 6th of July. I am working and listening to Craig Rochelle's Elijah Part 2, which God do you serve message. It's actually a four, Elijah, Elijah is actually a four part series about making a man of God or woman. Um, yeah, you should listen to it uh, on podcast or there's probably a video. Uh, it's really good. Um, one of the things that uh, talks about is um, if you're going to serve God, serve God. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you're not, then, yeah, don't worry about it. But quit wavering, quit doing things half-assed. Also, another part, um, I think another podcast, if you can find, uh, One Prayer 2009 Part 3, God is Able, talks about the five kings, and Joshua 10, I believe. Now, uh, people will tell you that the five kings represent, uh, Pride, addiction, lust, envy, and greed. In this one prayer part three podcast, it actually equates them to uh, our senses. Hearing, seeing, smelling, um, tasting, and feeling. And how you have to kill your five kings in order to really connect and be able to be to be dependent on God and not have that blocking you uh, it's hard to uh, repeat what he was saying in there about it but like um, when the three boys go into the furnace horrible with passages and everything about the story about the three boys who go into the furnace and they come out completely unharmed, and the king even thinks that he sees a fourth being in there. But they don't even smell like smoke. And he talks about how you don't need to let, you know, bad things cling to you, make you smell bad. Uh, talks about how when you, you know, about seeing, um, our eyes will play tricks on us, and we will only see like the negative and the bad so we have to remind ourselves and do teach ourselves who to see only get the good uh hearing you know it's so easy we hear somebody talk crap or somebody will say something to you and you take it uh disrespectfully or rudely or you know whatever apparently it couldn't just be like they were having a bad day or they just kind of came off wrong it's Oh my goodness, how can they disrespect me like that? Don't they know who I am? Yada, yada, yada. But it's just our ears and the enemy using it to his advantage. Um, taste, it mentions uh, when Jesus hung on the cross and how they took this sponge of vinegar and water or something. Vinegar, but anyway pressed it to his lips to drink and he wouldn't drink it because you know we can't take that in we can't take in all the anger and the bitterness that's out there because it's just gonna make us bitter from the inside out and then our feelings oh my goodness that is the biggest king that I have that king rules everything else uh, my sight my hearing my taste uh, is my feelings I have this thing in my head where if I don't feel happy like exuberantly happy, then things must be wrong. Then, you know, it's, if everything doesn't go perfectly, then I feel bad. If someone looks at me wrong, I think they're upset with me. If someone says something with an attitude, I think I must have done something to make them mad. One, I don't have that much power. I don't influence everybody that much, as much as I guess I'd like to think so. But I just wanted to share the... Um, uh, Elijah series and the one prayer series. Um, I listen to uh, Live Church on podcast. I actually, I'm on Google Play Music. Um, thanks for that, Amber. Uh, but I was able to basically download all of Life Church Craig Rochelle's things from 2000, from January 1st of 2009. 
all the way to his most recent series, which is the um, the Vow. So it's really cool, and this is what I listen to all day while I'm working. Um, I have gone through one prayer, and I'm down to like Elijah now. Uh, there's some uh, Dave Ramsey series, which are really good, and I'm ready to tackle this thing called life. I'm, I'm ready to do it with God. Screw everybody else. I really don't care what y'all think. I really don't care if y'all think of them being crazy or stupid or weird. You know what? I've been called weird. You know what? I'll be weird for Jesus. And maybe I'll actually get to be happy and things will go my way. Or a little bit more maybe. And if they don't, then that just means God's preparing me for something even better. And so, that's what I'm going to hold on to. And here, that's my uh, blown up moment at the moment. Blown up for Jesus. So, uh, we'll catch you later. Love you. Bye.